Welcome to Grade 11 Study Kate. Let us talk about population ecology. Today we're just going to do population size. So now uh, let us just first look at a couple of definitions that you need to be comfortable with before we go on with this topic. So the study of population is a bit easy. So we need to just pay attention to the key points. So you need to know that species are similar organisms and um, those similar organisms they must um, they must be able to interbreed so that they can produce fertile offspring so when you say that uh, similar organisms are able to interbreed it means that they're able to have babies together so they must be able to interbreed and have babies and those uh, those babies or that offspring must be fertile you should not use the word babies though when you're writing so now you need to say that species are similar organisms that can interbreed to produce fertile offspring so this can be even three marks just this question so you need to know how to define it so if we have got a group of cows that can they are similar right it's a group of cows they are similar they can interpret meaning that they can produce offspring and then to produce what fertile offspring meaning that the 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 the, the um, the babies that are produced or the offspring that is produced will be able to continue producing as well so yes it's more like that and the population now is a group of the same species so a, co a population now we are taking a group of same species and then it occupies the same habitat at the same time and can also interpret and able to interpret so when we're talking about a population for us to have something known as a population we must have same species and those species must occupy the same habitat when we're talking about a habitat we're talking about a place to stay and the, the 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 ecosystem so we're actually talking about a place to stay yeah so we can just say for example um as humans okay we cannot actually use humans but then we can use animals let's just say ants ants like to dig holes that's their habitat so when you've got a group of ants in that habitat they have population because they occupy the same habitat at the same time and they are also able to do it to interpret meaning that they're able to produce a more kind yes and then another thing is migration migration just means we are moving so migration means movement so when i'm saying that something is migrating it means it is moving from one place to another so migration is movement from one place to another so migration can be uh, differentiated into two types so we have got immigration immigration and we have got emigration so these are the types of migrations that we have so when you're saying that something is emitting it means it is coming in it is moving in coming in and then if it is emigrating it is moving out something like that so these are the types of what these are the types of migrations so let's just say this is our population this is a population so in this population let's just say there's uh there are ants inside there are ants inside here there are little ants inside here and then when we're saying that something or when we're saying that the 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 the, the ants are immigrating it means that some foreign ant is entering into that population so immigrating means coming in emigrating means moving out so it can mean that uh, one one species uh, one one individual is moving out of the population that is emigration so now uh, population growth is another thing we should talk about so population growth just means the changes in the population so we want to see if the population is growing big or if the population is growing small so a population can decrease a population can also increase so when a population increases so if a population increases we say the population growth is positive so a positive population growth always means that the population increases and then if a population decreases 
we say it is known as a negative population growth so a negative population growth just means that um, the population is decreasing so the factors that affect population growth is natality mortality as well as migration we already talked about migration and we've said that migration is the movement of um of species is either they are moving uh, into the population or out of the population so that's migration natality is otherwise known as birth rate which is just referring to how many how many species are born and mortality is the death rate how many species are dying in that population so now uh, for us to have a po positive population growth meaning that for for the population to increase we we take a look at this factor known as natality so natality uh, always increases population so if the um, there are more species being or more species being produced yeah uh, oh yeah yeah, that, 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 that will increase the, the, the population. So that will result in a positive population growth. So natality is the percentage increase of a population because of the number of pets in a given seasonal year. So uh, the increase in the population, if the population is increasing due to or because of the number of pets in a given season, we say that is natality. So natality just means that the population is increasing due to number of pets so natality always increases population means that it could it's a factor that contributes to positive population growth so that is natality and then now we've got m immigration is another factor that increases the population immigration remember we've said that the species are moving or individuals are moving into a population that's immigration so now immigration introduces new members into the original population as I had stated here that if new members if new members are moving into the, the original population they are immigrating this is immigration so you see that if there is more immigration it means that there will be more members in that population meaning that uh, the population will grow so that will be a positive population growth and then those new members may have entered for breeding season or they may be permanent so other members they can enter just to it so remember that um a population has got species right that can interpret so it is possible this is a population uh, let's just say it's a population of some animals some mystery animals let's not give them a name and then we say that some of the species move into this population so these are the foreign species moving into this population so these foreign species moving into this population they can be moving in so that they can interpret with the yeah they can interpret with the with this population they can produce babies so they can just move in just to produce babies and go out or they can also move in permanently and just sit around and be comfortable so that will increase the population hence we say that it contributes to a positive population growth do you want to get more benefits from this channel from only 20 rands per month you too could become a member and get exclusive benefits and even private tutoring click join on our channel page to find out then now in negative population growth we have said right that um, there is a decrease in the population negative population growth is a decrease in the number of population or in the number of species in that population so now what can decrease uh, the number of species in a population is mortality so remember we've said that mortality is a um, is more more of a death rate within a population uh, how many animals are dying within a population so if a population is decreasing because of that death rate that is mortality so mortality will always have a negative population growth yes because uh, mortality means that animals are dying so animals are dying something associated with death so 
if here if we have got a population and we have got let's just say these are our three species and then one of them dies let me just wrap them off literally dying so one of the species die you can see now that the population decreased so now our mortality contributes to a negative population growth and then emigration is also another factor that contributes to a negative population growth emigration remember it means that uh, species are or individuals are moving or leaving the population in a way so now let's just say uh, here we have got our population back again and then some of them decide to move some of them decide to move so if we move let's just say this one moves out this one moves out and this one moves out to see that if all these three individuals move out of the population will only remain with two so there's a decrease in the population hence we say it's a negative population growth and um yeah that's just it so they can leave because it is the end of a bit breeding season remember when we are talking about emigration we have said that some of the species end so that they can breed with the species within this population right but after the breeding season is over they leave so they leave they leave they leave they emigrate so emigration emigration just means that um, the individuals are leaving a population and this will decrease the population hence we say it's a negative population growth and then the original population can also split so it is not always um it is not always individuals that are living because of the end of a breeding season the original population can also split into sub populations across a large geographical area let us just say that uh, this is our um, this is our area and then this area has got mountains and rivers and whatnot yeah this area has got mountains and rivers and then we've got our population this is their habitat right remember i said that a population uh, is the group of same species similar species uh, that are occupying the same habitat at the same time so what can happen here the original population can be split up into sub population meaning that some of the members of this population can choose to go to that other side of the mountain and start living there and then now you can see that there's a decrease in the population here remember initially here we had one two three four five six seven we had seven members we had seven species in this population but if these two decides to move to that other side of the mountain you will just only realize that uh, the population decreases so that was that that would be a, a a negative population growth and uh, that that is almost all about population change so we can actually take it to a mathematical level and calculate population change with this formula that says our population change is equal to number of beds plus immigration minus deaths plus emigration so you want to see how does your population change in a given time period so for example let us say that um in a given time period there are 50 beds just say that there are 50 new offspring meaning that there are 50 babies that are born in a population let's just say in one month and then there are 20 uh, there are 20 who die yeah 20 species who die and then there are two uh, which we which we which immigrate okay which move in and then we say there is one that moves out so this is just in a given time period let's just say in one month this is what happened to your population so they they are now at 50 new offspring meaning that 50 babies in that population was were born and then 20 individuals die there in that population meaning that 20 die and then two move in meaning that they are immigrating and then one moves out meaning that they are emigrating so how could you calculate the population change there you're just gonna say that the population change is equals to the number of pets the number of pets here we had 50 new offspring plus the number of uh the the, the, the immigration meaning that uh, the number of the species that are moving in in this case is two that's gonna be 50 plus 2 minus and then the number of deaths 20 die there 
20 die plus the immigration is only one which immigrated so this is something like 52 minus 21 yeah um, and then 52 minus 21 that's going to work out something like 31 if i'm not mistaken yeah maybe something like that so now you can see that this is your what this is your population change so population change is something that can be calculated using mathematics so a population change you just add the number of births and immigration which are the factors that increases population these are the factors that increase population or the factors that result in positive population growth and then deaths plus immigration are the factors that uh, yeah, that, that, that 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 result in a decrease in population growth so it's actually increase minus decrease so if you see that the value that you get here is a um, negative population change it means that the population has decreased so if you get a, a negative value here for the population change it means that the population has decreased we, we do know right in mathematics that if you if this number here the deaths and immigration if it is smaller than the deaths and migra and emigration this is going to be a negative number so it means that there is more decrease so it means that the, the, the population decreased there so a negative population change will mean that there is a decrease in population and a positive population change means that there will be an increase in population change so in this case there is an increase by 31 meaning that the population is increased by 31 if we assume that the original population was 100 species so it means now it is 131 species so now i hope that you are just getting along with this introduction and our next video we're going to be talking about environmental resistance as well as current capacity um yeah thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and also please help us and support us click the super thanks like as many times you can share with your friends and whatnot thank you for watching